this partial variation, the fourth aspect of the types of uh, variation that we are dealing with. X is partly constant and partly varies directly with Y. When X is, is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 1, and X is equal to 2 and Y is equal to 5, find X when Y is equal to 10. Now, we have solved this already. X goes to A plus B, Y. Then, that's the first aspect. Then, when you put the value, X is equal to 3, A plus 1, B. That's question 1. The same thing with the second aspect. 2 is equal to A plus 5, B. Because our B, our Y is 5. X is 2, Y is 5. X is 3, Y is 1. Then, we solve it using elimination uh, method. 3 is equal to A plus 1B. 2 is equal to A plus 5B. Then using elimination method, put minus. Then 3 minus 2 gives us 1. A will cancel A. That was up. 1, one times uh, minus times plus will give us minus. 1 minus 5 will give us. Uh, minus uh, 4. Then the Bible said by minus 5. 1 divided by minus 4. Because I divided by minus 4. 1 divided by minus 4. Minus 4 cancel out minus 4. Uh, B is equal to minus 1 over 4. Then we substitute for B, which is equal to minus 1 over 4. In any of the two equations, we'll pick equation 1. Equation 1. Then we have 3 is equal to A plus 1B. 3 is equal to a plus 1, open bracket, what's our b? Minus 1 over 4. Then we'll work it out. 3 is equal to a plus minus minus 1 over 4. Then from here, we have this to be a. Take this one to the other side. It means 3 plus 1 over 4 because minus will change to uh, plus. Then we look for the LCM. The LCM is 4. 1 and 4, 4. 4 times 3, 12. Plus 4 and 4, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Then we have 12 plus 1 will give us 13 over 4. Now we have A and B. From there, we can get the uh, formula connecting the variables. Which means, from our concept, we have seen that X is equal to A plus B, Y. Now we already have our A, we already have our B. It means we have X is equal to, what is our A? 13 over 4 plus what is our B? That is minus 1 over 4, then times Y. Now, we work this one. This one is same thing as X is equal to 13 over 4 minus, minus, plus times minus will give us minus. 1 times Y will give us Y over 4. Now, if we look at what we have here, both of them, they are the same. The 4 and the 4, they are the same. We put them together. X is equal to minus uh, divided by 4. Then 4 and 4, 1, 1 times 13, 13 minus 4 and 4, 1, 1 times 1, 1. Then from here, if you cross multiply, cross multiply means X times 4 and Y times that. Now, if you are working on I don't want to explain this uh, last aspect here because of the last question. Find x when y is equal to 10. But we can see what this has here. So it means x times 4 equals 4x is equal to 13 minus y. Now, we can pick this one as the equation that connects them. Or we can leave it there. But it's better you use this. So that by the time we are solving it further, we are solving it further to find x when y is equal to 10. We cannot continue to find x when y is equal to 10. We can work from here and conclude it. We can work from here and conclude it. That is to find that anywhere you see y is equal to 10. That is 4x is equal to 13 minus 10. Then 4x equals 13 minus 10 will give us 3. Divide both sides. Both sides 
by what? 4. 4x over 4 is equal to 3 over 4. 4 comes to 4. Then our x is equal to 3 over 4. Now, that is our final answer. We are working with partial fraction. This is mathematics work. Thank you. See you later.